Odontogenesis, or tooth development, is the process by which teeth form from embryonic cells, then grow and erupt into the mouth. Odontogenesis begins with the bud stage, or the initiation and physiologic stage. It follows the thickening of the oral epithelium in embryonic development in the fifth week, which forms the dental lamina. The bud stage begins in the sixth week in utero and is the first interaction between the oral epithelium and the mesenchyme to form the ectomesenchyme. This stage marks the development of the primordia of the enamel organs, the tooth bud. The next stage is the cap stage, where the tooth bud continues to proliferate but does not expand uniformly into a large sphere. The cap stage is characterized by the development of a shallow invagination on the deep surfaces of the bud, outlining the basic shape of the tooth. The enamel organ forms into a cap, surrounding the mass of dental papilla formed from the mesenchyme. The entire bud is then surrounded by the dental follicle, which is also formed from the mesenchyme. The cap stage occurs usually during the ninth week in utero. Tooth development continues in the early bell stage, where cells differentiate into ameloblasts, odontoblasts, cementoblasts, and fibroblasts. The undersurface of the enamel organ has deepened, giving the organ its bell shape. In this stage, outer epithelial cells lining the enamel organ can be distinguished as the inner enamel epithelium and the outer enamel epithelium. Proceeding the early bell stage is the late bell stage. In this stage, the formation of the shape of the tooth begins to take place through the development of the hard dental tissues such as enamel and dentin. The forming enamel, dentin, and pulp cavity become evident and ameloblasts and odontoblasts become more well-defined. With the final shape of the tooth in place, the next stage, the appositional stage, presents the formation of the enamel, dentin, and cementum matrices that are partly calcified and serve as a framework for future calcification. The elongation of the inner enamel epithelium will enhance the formation of the odontoblasts, which also elongate and move down, leaving behind the dentin matrix. Then, the elongated pre-ameloblast cells will turn into ameloblasts, moving up and leaving the enamel matrix. With the matrices in place, the next stage is the final calcification of the enamel and dentin. In this stage, the odontoblasts, which form dentin, still exist in the dental papilla, unlike the ameloblasts, which degenerate and lose the function of forming new enamel. This is the reason enamel doesn't naturally regenerate, unlike dentin, which continues to form throughout life. Finally, the tooth has become fully developed and begins to emerge in the oral cavity. This stage is labeled as the eruption stage and typically begins with the eruption of the mandibular central incisors at about six to eight months old and ending with a maxillary second molar at about two years old. Tooth eruption is a complex process involving many different mechanisms, but the periodontal ligament is thought to play an important role in this process by providing the primary forces necessary to promote tooth eruption. The final stage is tooth attrition, where the normal occlusal contact of the teeth wear down parts of the tooth structure. This typically begins in the incisal or occlusal surfaces of the teeth where majority of tooth-to-tooth -tooth contact is made. The attrition of the teeth is a normal process that follows aging in healthy patients. So, let's recap what we have learned so far. Odontogenesis begins with the initiation of the formation of the dental lamina through the thickening of the oral epithelium. The primary mechanism involved is induction. The bud stage shows the creation of the ectomesenchyme and the development of the initial tooth bud. The primary mechanism involved is proliferation. The cap stage is when the basic shape of the tooth starts to take place. 
The enamel organ forms a cap, which surrounds the dental papilla, which is all surrounded by the dental follicle. The primary mechanisms involved are proliferation, morphogenesis, and differentiation. The bell stage is characterized by the rapid differentiation of cells into ameloblasts, odontoblasts, cementoblasts, and fibroblasts in the early stage, and the formation of dentin and enamel in the late stage. The primary mechanisms involved are proliferation, morphogenesis, and differentiation. The appositional stage shows the formation of the dentin and enamel matrices on which future calcification can occur. The primary mechanisms involved are induction and proliferation. This is followed by the calcification stage, when the final calcification of the dentin and enamel matrices are completed. This stage ends in a complete, unerupted tooth. The eruption stage is when the tooth finally emerges into the oral cavity. The last stage is tooth attrition, where the occlusal and incisal surfaces of the teeth are worn down during natural occlusion.